Stream Eclipse team. Stream Woo! Eclipse. Here comes the subs coming back. So awesome. Happy Eclipse Day. We have a very rare total solar eclipse that's going to be happening from Texas all the way to Maine. Down here in Texas, just to the south of DFW, we have a lot of high clouds that are streaming by. And this is with that active subtropical jet. We have a lot of strong southwesterly flow at the mid-levels, and that's associated with a little bit of cloud cover at high levels. That could lead to some awesome viewing effects during the path of totality, but if those clouds are thick enough, it could totally disrupt the viewing experience from the ground here at Texas. So I'm going to be taking a jet aircraft above 19,000 feet to view the total solar eclipse and then we're targeting the severe weather afterward and that severe weather looks like it could be pretty significant. I'm seeing two modes of supercell storms that could develop this late afternoon in Texas and continue through evening. There's going to be a, a cluster of gorilla hail producers in northwest Texas, possibly in the southwestern Oklahoma. That mode could push into the DFW Metroplex this evening, bringing with it destructive gorilla hail and also could be associated with an isolated tornado or two. Here we are in a beautiful field of blue bonnets, Central Texas, Gizmo and I, and we're headed south to intercept the eclipse and tornado potential later today. Never stop chasing. All right, we're about to pull into Austin Executive Airport. I'm going to get on the jet plane, and that's how I'm going to intercept the solar eclipse today. The total solar eclipse, a very rare event. We do have some high clouds coming in, so we're going to have to use the jet to get above 19,000 feet. I'm a little bit nervous because if things go wrong with that aircraft and we have to use the parachute, the parachute has to deploy and then we'll just have to slowly, gently fall down to the surface. But the key is also that I got to get down on the ground relatively fast because we have a tornado threat, supercell threat later on this afternoon. Warm frontal zone is going to be lifting north and I expect those storms to just explode at like 3 or 4 p.m. Matt and Skyler. Hello, howdy. Yep, they're gonna take us on the jet plane up there. And if things go wrong, he's gonna deploy the parachute too. <laughs> Hopefully not, but we do have to. And we'll ride the low-level jet northward and then intercept the tornado in Central Texas, Waco, maybe Dallas. Which gizmo? This is a Cirrus aircraft too, right? Which is kind of Cirrus, the Cirrus turbo. Yeah. We're getting up there, the Cirrus. We can get up to about 24,000 if we need to. Wow. I get too close to the max, right? No, I mean, well, so the, the difference is you have a little nose cannula, as those will go up to 18,000, and then yeah. anything above that, you have a full face mass, which we do have. But. Not really a normal flight plan, but we're just going to go hold over at this GPS waypoint for X amount of time, and then once we're done, we'll just exit that hole and then come back and see it. Here we go. I feel 100% confidence in Matt now. Here we go, is that it right there? Yeah, so that's the nitrile down there. Oh, beautiful. That's coming off of the turbocharger, and then that will let this thing cruise um, north of 20,000 to 25,000 feet. So, if we need to. Are you worried about convection at all up there? Maybe a little bit on the way back in. <laughs> so, hopefully not. We'll see. This is a serious cap system, so it takes about 30 pounds of force. You pull downwards. Uh, pull the string out and it's going to deploy a ballistic rocket that's actually behind those seats that will come up and then it rips out straps along the fuselage of the uh, aircraft. <laughs> okay. so, do, you, do, you, do you have some lead time to know if you have to pull that? You got you to make a pretty quick decision. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I would much rather pull this than ditch it in the field. So. so what's this for right here? Getting the uh, oxygen mass set up. So above 12,500 uh, required to have supplemental oxygen. So hopefully we, we don't need them today, but I want them set up before we uh, get up in the air in case we do, so. Extreme Eclipse 
I am just sitting outside the airport. We just took off, went up about 19,000 feet to cover this. So and right now I am on the ground here. We're having breaks in clouds, so we're hoping the timing works out. So right in totality, there'll be a clear area. So yeah, I am getting ready to uh, get that going. Let's we'll see what we can see here. I'm super excited. I've already got to see it a few times. I'm starting to see the moon go right in front of me. You can see like a crescent right now. So we'll see here in a few minutes if we can see that totality with a big ring. Let's see. On a moon, uh, flight level 190 for now, 19. I'm at 1193, 1741. American 815, expect higher than 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. 1741. I'm not sure they get on the next weather. A little bit closer to the totality. I'm very nervous because it looks like the clouds might block my view. I'm just going to hope for that little tiny window and we'll get to see it as it peeks through right at totality. Fingers are crossed. I hope we can do this. Man, I uh, hope Reed's okay, you know. Reed's up there 19,000 feet trying to look at this in a plane that has a parachute. I'm sure everything will be fine. I, I mean, honestly, I wonder what Reed's seeing right now. I bet it's incredible. Now, here comes the sun, coming back! Woo! Woo! Hang on. Oh, man. Oh, man. November, uh, Dark, don't get it. Caution, VFR, shot. Daryl, walk. Can we get a heading speed? Yeah, no. Number 330. Yeah, that weather came in so fast, too. We're almost at totality and it's starting to get a little bit dark here in Austin. I got cloud coverage right now, but there's breaks right in between. So I should be able to get a really good money shot right as uh, the full part of the totality happens on the eclipse right above our head. Just need that little tiny gap in the clouds. This is stressing me out. I hope that uh, I can get a gap in the clouds here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2865 American A15. Come on, TT1 Yankee, catch it up. I'd like to go direct to Goose Springs and Georgetown, please. 512, Mike Charlie, you're looking for direct to Goose Springs? Goose Springs, Mike Charlie. November 512, Mike Charlie, unable. We've got parachuting jump on operations right in front of you. Okay, I got the other truck. Actually, are you able niner? All right, y'all, we are getting really close to full totality. It's starting to get a little dark out here. I'm still going back and forth between this uh, cloud cover, so we'll just have to see uh, what happens 